Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back, everybody, to another tutorial. So, as you guys can see, I've already done my base makeup. So, I will leave a tutorial linked down below with my base makeup involved if you guys want to check that out. Otherwise, moving on with the eyes. So, as you can see, I'm grabbing the classic <laughs> scotch tape or like sticky tape, whatever you like to call it. I'm basically sticking it down on the corners of my eyes, making sure it's directly up on an angle towards my brow. Then I'm going in and priming my eyes. So I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm applying that all over the lids, all the way up to the brow bone, making sure it's evenly placed all over because it is going to cover up any veins or redness and allow the eyeshadows to really show up very vibrant and pigmented. For the first eyeshadow today, I'm going to grab this soft sky blue shade and I'm applying that through my outer corner and crease with a fluffy crease brush from Zoeva. And I'm making sure it's really blended and really smoked out because it is our transition color for today. So I am mapping out the eye shape as well. Then I'm going in and taking Neptune from Makeup Geek and applying that through the crease just below where we place that sky blue shade. I'm using a definer crease brush to place that down. Then I'm going back in with some of that sky blue shadow on that fluffy crease brush we used before and just blending out any harsh lines or edges so it's nice and smoky. Then I'm going to take Sapphire, which is a stunning deep blue shade from Morphe, and applying that with my MB16 brush from Morphe. This is the chisel shader brush. I'm really making sure that crease is well defined. So I want the shadows to really just blend up into that sky blue. So it's really deep in the crease and then just softly melts into that kind of transition shade. So I do go back in with some of Neptune on a fluffy brush and just blend any harsh lines or edges out so it's all seamlessly blended. To cut my crease, I'm going in with an eye concealer brush and taking some of the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk again. And as you can see, I'm just cutting out the crease and also flicking it out on the outer corner so it does kind of resemble that ocean wave effect as like I titled this look. I do want that kind of ocean wave like kind of effect to it. So I did kind of have a little bit of a flick on the end of that cut crease. To really define up the cut crease, I'm going in with a precise shader brush and some of these two deep colours, Full Moon and Blackout from the Thin Lizzy Cool Tone palette. And I'm really defining up that crease. Also bringing in some of Sapphire as well. And I also go back and forth and blend out that line so it's not so harsh. So I did go back in with a few of the previous shades to soften any harsh lines. Next, to create those kind of ripple effects on the lid, I'm going in again with some of Blackout and Full Moon from the Thin Lizzy palette on a precise shader brush. And I'm basically just creating little like half moon kind of shapes on the lid. I do about six of them, starting from the very outer corner, the very tip, and then just kind of, you know, evenly spacing them out, I guess, along the lid shape all the way to the inner corner. Once you've got your desired effect, I'm going in with some of Sapphire next, which is the next darker shade, and I'm going in and blending out that harsh line so it's not so stark. It looks more like a ripple effect, like in the ocean. The ocean. <laughs> so take your time with the step, guys, and really do just go back and forth with shades to get like that desired look. Sometimes you can blend a color away too much and you feel like you've lost it. So I went back and forth between all the colors during this just to get my desired look. Then going in with some of Neptune, which is that beautiful royal blue shadow, I'm going in and blending out some of Sapphire, just so it all seamlessly fades across. Getting that beautiful ripple in the water look. Oh, I really did like this effect. I thought it was really fun. I haven't done a look like this before, so I thought it was a really cool, very different look to what I usually do. <laughs> Once you've blended them out to your desired effect, I'm going to take some of Poolside and Pegasus, which is this beautiful turquoisey blue foiled eyeshadow. Oh my lord, it looks so good. <laughs> and I'm going in and blending out the edges of Neptune with that. Fading it across just before we get to that deep black shadow, like the original black kind of really deep blue line. As you guys can see, I kind of left a gap from where Pegasus and Poolside were to where that next ripple begins because I do want it to have a little bit of white peeking through there. Once you've got your desired look like so, I'm going to go in and draw my wings. So I'm taking some of Jellies, which is this beautiful, like royal, very deep blue liquid lipstick from Colourpop. 
Um, I don't know if it's eye safe, so just, you know, be cautious. Proceed with caution with this. Um, but yeah, I'm just using that on an eyeliner brush from Eeg Show, which I do have a discount code for you guys if you do want to use their brushes. I'll leave it down below. Next, I'm going to take this beautiful, really light blue eyeliner from, I think it's Revlon or Rimmel. I'll leave a link down below in the shade Shook or something. It's a beautiful kind of turquoisey blue and I'm using that on the inner third of my cut crease. Then I'm going to take Cool AF which is another deep blue liquid liner and I'm going to apply that along the other half of the cut crease connecting it to jellies on the outer corner. And then I go back in and just kind of blend that light blue eyeliner in with cool af just so they melt together seamlessly like so for lashes today i'm going in with feisty from anitude they're such a beautiful pair of lashes they're my favorite ones at the moment they're shorter on the inner corner longer on the outer corner and they don't obscure too much of the eyeshadow so they're just perfect with this eye look for my inner corner and brow bone highlight i'm originally just taking ice queen from Makeup Geek and applying that to the highest point of my brow bone for my like brow bone highlight. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm taking Ice Queen again but mixing it with some of Pegasus to create a nice light blue inner corner pop. To line my waterline, I'm going in first of all with a white cream eyeliner. I mean, you can use a white coal or actually even better, you can use a you know, eye coal, a blue eye coal. I just didn't have one. So I lined my waterline with some of the jumbo pencil and then I went over top with an eyeshadow. If you have sensitive eyes, don't use an eyeshadow, use an eye coal. This is Pegasus from Makeup Geek, by the way, which I applied over top of that milk jumbo pencil. To further define that bottom lash line, I'm going in with some of Sapphire and really wiggling that really closely to the outer two thirds of my bottom lash line and then blending it out with some of Neptune. I didn't want to smoke out the bottom lash line too much so I did just keep it quite close and like really tight against that bottom lash line when I was blending it out. And for bottom lash mascara I'm going in with this electric blue mascara from Rimmel and applying that to the bottom lashes just to really finish off this look and tie that blue all together. <laughs> And this, guys, completes today's Ocean Wave makeup look. I really do hope you enjoyed it. I had the most fun creating it. And it, ugh, the colours, like blue in general, I'm just such a fan of a blue eyeshadow look. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you guys enjoyed the look, please make sure to leave a big thumbs up before you leave. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you guys can stay up to date with all my latest videos and tutorials. Have an amazing day, an amazing week. I love you all so much. Thank you for your support. It really means a lot to me and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys.